Good morning, Mate Farmers. It is Friday morning, and check this out. We got us four more axes. Welcome back, you guys, to Mate Farms. Today's video is gonna be a compilation of a bunch of exotic animals that I have recorded here in Texas. And first being is this black buck antelope native to India. And here we have a black buck right there on my property and a few black buck does. This is when we first purchased our property and this is the first thing we saw out there. Black. And as you can see, I'm pulling up into a neighborhood. I'm working this Saturday and there's black buck antelope in this neighborhood. And this is a, a pretty large city. So just to show you how many exotics we have here. And there's so many that my neighbor has them running in his front yard like that. Oh my goodness. Even times like this where we have 30 to 40 head of antelope. So the reason why I'm showing you guys this is to show you how much exotics we have here in Texas. And the opportunity you have to trap, to hunt. And all of these there's no um, regulation on hunting other than having a Texas hunting license. There's no tags, there's no amount or limit that you are allowed to hunt or kill in a season and there actually is no season for these. At one point in these animals lives their parents or them themselves were actually on a high fence ranch and they escaped. And due to them not having their natural predators such as tigers, jaguars. They are able to breed very rapidly. And these are what we just trapped. And this is another video of about 20 to 30 black buck antelope. There you go, here they are very close to our property. That's actually my field there, but they're very tame. So this is another day and yet another about 40 antelope show up. So this is a common theme to see around here. And this here was about two weeks before we set up the drop gate trap. And that's a, where the big herd is right now. That's where the drop gate is right now. So what we have here are four elk and elk are not native to Texas. Um, these were escapees off of a ranch and they've been free ranging for so I've heard about five six years and if those things go in our trap yes those are free game so what I'm showing you now are the axes that we trapped and are at the livestock auction waiting to be sold these are three big does that I believe to be bred and a smaller doe. Good morning, Mate Farmers. It is Friday morning and check this out. So check it out. There are three males in here and I believe one doe. So what we did was we backed up to one of the gates, the drop gates, and we put this panel here to finish up the opening and then we'll open up this, this panel and they'll just run right up into the trailer. So the reason why they jump in so easily into the trailer is because this gate that you see, that black gate, is where they entered. So they know that's where they came in, that's the only way that's safe to go out, but it's into one of our trailers. So once again, for those of you that don't know, these are invasive species and they do fight for food with the native whitetail. Um, these things breed twice a year. These are axis. Um, you can see they're wrestling deer up in there. Trying to go back inside. So this is what the catch of the night was. We got four more at the auction house. 